A dream that no one could save A shelter, a whole act A light that died with the night You and I, we got our differences Yeah So, hello. Uh, I've not done a vlog for a while, obviously. Uh, been a heat wave, and uh, I've just not wanted to go anywhere. I didn't want to do any walking, carrying any gear, you know, because of the heat. It's seriously been hot, uh, and I mean hotter than hot. So, uh, yeah, I haven't been able to tolerate this heat at all. So I thought I'd come down, come out today, um, do a quick vlog. Um, just one camera and one lens. I've got the uh, 70 to 300 lens with me. I don't want to do any walking. I don't want to. I'm not going to do any big uh, landscape shots. Uh, even though the weather's nice, uh, it's just no good for photography. Uh, today's not too bad, there's a lot of cloud in the sky, but I thought I'd do a bit of macro today and uh, Yeah, be a bit uh, experimental I think today uh, With the long lens just trying to look for something like some flowers or uh, Just trying to be creative with it in the edit later on so uh, we're gonna walk on this back road uh, which is very quiet and uh, Just try and see if anything can uh, Catch me eye um, also, I've got no car to go anywhere. Um, it's in the garage. I think I might have blown the head gasket or seized the engine because I did not put the uh, water cap back on tight. So, uh, yeah, so who knows what's wrong with that car or whether I have a car. So, uh, yeah, so it's uh, stuck local again. So, uh, I'm gonna head down the back roads and then see uh, what I can find. Serene and chest pain Tell me what's the plan So yeah, I've got no uh, tripod with me today so everything's gonna be on a high ISO and a fast shutter speed um, I'm looking at the top of this plant with the white bits um, like I, like I said, I'm thinking more in a creative way. It's not just going to be a picture of the top of the plant, but by using maybe some effects, uh, just being creative with uh, what I see, really. So I'm going to get the long lens out and see if I can uh, get a shot with that. Uh, and I don't know. Maybe it'll work, maybe not. But uh, if it does, I'll put this one up now. this you see that gorge bush that nice gorge bush look at the spider's webs are they webs i don't know what they are but they look like spider's webs on the gorge bush bush so i'm going to take a picture of this gorge bush with the webbing around it and uh, try and make an image from it
So yeah, um, just having a look around. Um, there's a lot of hogweed around. Loads of that, but I'm trying to find uh, something with a bit of colour. Which I'm sure we'll come across. Man, it's hot. I just can't bloody stop sweating. A lot of vegetation around here is very green, too green. So it'd be nice to find something that stands out from that green colour. what we got here is this flower known as a penny mac uh, I just like the blue color uh, so what I'm gonna do excuse me I got pouring with sweat into my eyes here so what I'm gonna do is zoom in pretty tight so I can see the petals uh, within the uh, plant uh, it's got a nice really a really nice color like a blue purplish color so I'll take an image of this now and I'll put it up now So, so yeah, when uh, when you're in a heat wave and you want to do some photography, uh, my tip is to get out in the woods where there's a uh, shade that'll keep you cool a bit. Just take a camera, one lens, go handheld, and uh, shoot macro style. And uh, another another good thing about it, it just helps you. It helps you to look and think, and. Uh, be a bit more creative. This has caught my eye here, the way the light's just coming in and it's uh, hitting the uh, middle uh, tree there. Um, and there's a lot of darker greens around it. Now by going vertical, I might be able to get a nice image around that concentrating on the light where the green's really popping out there and um, yeah and you see a lot of other dark trees and uh, yeah I'm gonna go down to F4 which and uh, concentrate on that middle tree there with the light on it and try and darken the rest around it and by going horizontal I think uh, that could possibly make a nice interesting shot Also just down here in this little stream uh, the light's just coming through and it's really making the dead leaves under the water pop really beautiful. Now uh, it just really really stands out against the dark rock around it so I think I'm going to take an image of this just because it's eye catching and uh, there's something cool but yet warm about the uh, image uh, really pops out so yeah. So I'm going to put up this image and the tree now.
I think that's it for this vlog. Uh, I hope this vlog's helped you uh, get some ideas of what you can do when there's a heat wave and it's just too hot to go onto the mountains and do a lot of walking. Uh, just you can do things like this. One bag, one lens, one camera and a bottle of water. No tripod and just uh, get in the woodland, in the shade and then just uh, be creative and uh, look for things uh, macro style photography. So yeah, just a thought. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm uh, developing a 2022 calendar for next year. Not too sure yet, it depends how many people would be interesting, interested to uh, get one. I think this year I'm going to do it down to an A4 size, but it'll still be a big picture, but the calendar will be pretty much small, so you're still getting the size image you get on the A3. Uh, it's just It just makes it easier to uh, shipping costs. I mean, uh, last year it was pretty expensive to uh, send out all the A3 sort of... Uh, calendars so if you are interested in the calendar just so that I know is it worth me doing it or not uh, just let me know down below so thanks again for watching and uh, until next time hopefully I'll have my car back if I'm a lucky guy uh, so bye